Avatars are very commonly used across digital applications. By using avatars as representations of ourselves, we socialize, play, and work. Avatar customization is known to positively affect outcomes including intrinsic motivation, helping behavior, user retention, learning, flow, and of special importance, avatar identification. Avatar identification, or the temporary alteration in self-perception of the player induced by the mental association with their game character, leads to increased motivation, creative thinking, enjoyment, performance, player experience, flow, and trust in others. However, literature is focused almost exclusively on visual aspects of the avatar. Identification is a mechanism where in media experiences, such as reading a story or watching a movie, are interpreted and experienced by audiences as if the events were happening to them. Players control, customize, and interact with their game character and the game world using an avatar. Consequently, the player-avatar relationship is often said to be a merging of the player and the game protagonist. These findings have led researchers to consider avatar identification as a multifaceted construct, which has been operationalized into three distinct dimensions. Similarity identification, wishful identification, and embodied identification. The voice of an avatar is a part of game character's identity, and providing a way to use players' voices for avatar actions can lead to a merging of identity. We had seven overarching hypotheses, each broken down into three sub-hypotheses in this study. All hypotheses and research questions were part of the study pre-registration. Our experimental test bed is Codebreakers, a Java programming game in which players solve problems by throwing snippets of code. In total, there were 30 possible voice lines that could have been triggered. For this study, we explicitly aimed to create stereotypically appearing and sounding male and female avatars. We created four avatar appearances, two male and two female, and four avatar voices, two male and two female. Our goal is to develop a baseline understanding of the presence of customization choices that mirror current games. Such baseline understandings can inform future avatar customization research and implementation in which we hope that more inclusive design choices, such as non-binary gender choices, become the norm. Finally, our rationale for creating two visual choices and two audio choices for each gender was to add a minimal degree of visual and audio choice. We manipulate visual choice, choice versus assignment, and audio choice, choice versus assignment. The manipulations are as follows. Choice none, participant is randomly assigned both model and voice. Choice audio, participant is randomly assigned model and chooses voice. Choice visual, participant chooses a model and is randomly assigned voice. And choice all, participant chooses both model and voice. Our study was pre-registered on the open science framework. Hypotheses, exploratory analyses, experiment design, data collection, sample size, and measures are contained in our pre-registration. After performing sample size determination calculations, we recruited 1,527 participants from Amazon Mechanical Turk. A between-subjects factorial design was used. Each participant was randomly assigned to one of four possible conditions. Participants first filled out an IRB-approved consent form, and they were informed that they could exit the game at any time after playing 10 minutes. During gameplay, once 10 minutes had elapsed, participants were automatically presented an in-game survey which contained our survey questions. Participants with visual choice experience higher avatar identification and autonomy. Participants with audio choice experience higher avatar identification and autonomy, but only within the group of participants who had visual choice available. Visual choice led to an increase in time spent and indirectly led to increases in intrinsic motivation, immersion, time spent, future play motivation, and likelihood of game recommendation. Audio choice moderated the majority of these effects. Existing work on avatar customization has focused almost exclusively on visual aspects of customization. While there are many benefits to avatar customization, it is unknown whether audio avatar customization confers similar benefits. Based on our results, we conclude that audio customization plays an important role in affecting outcomes. However, we make the argument that although audio customization is important, it appears to have a weaker effect in comparison to visual customization. Many possibilities exist for why visual customization had a stronger effect than audio customization. One possibility is that players are simply more familiar with visual customization. People are known to prefer things due to familiarity alone. Another potential reason is that the total exposure time to the audio customization aspects of the avatar, i.e. the voice, was only a fraction of the exposure time to the visual aspects of the avatar, i.e. the model. Finally, visual aspects of an avatar might also inherently, at a fundamental level, be more important than audio aspects. There appear to be fundamental differences between visual and auditory processing in humans. 
For example, the picture superiority effect describes a phenomenon whereby pictures and images are more often remembered compared to words. Interestingly, audio customization was only effective at increasing avatar identification and autonomy when visual customization was also present. Based on our results, we recommend pairing audio customization options with visual customization options to enhance outcomes. Our results suggest that even simple audio avatar customization, the selection of one voice from two options, is sufficient to increase perceived similarity with the avatar, the sense of being embodied within the avatar, and the idealization of the avatar. Further, additional audio avatar customization options, such as pitch, loudness, pace, resonance, intonation, might facilitate even higher levels of avatar identification. The finding that audio choice significantly moderates the effect of visual choice on game outcomes, as mediated by identification and autonomy, provides further evidence for the importance of audio avatar customization. Together, these findings suggest that audio customization is a notable contributor not only to the subjective experience of identification with the avatar, but also to the outcomes of identification with the avatar within the game. Physically healthy looking avatars can promote physical activity. And avatars perceived as creative can promote creative brainstorming. In the present context of learning games, this research suggests that using an avatar with a voice that sounds more capable of success in a computer science learning context such as more intelligent or persistent, might empower players to perform better in the game and thus learn the educational content more effectively. Avatar customization is known to positively affect crucial outcomes in numerous domains, including health, entertainment, and education. We presented one of the first studies to date on audio avatar customization. Participants with visual choice experience higher avatar identification and autonomy. Participants with audio choice experience higher avatar identification and autonomy but only within the group of participants who had visual choice available. Visual choice led to an increase in time spent and indirectly led to increases in intrinsic motivation, immersion, time spent, future play motivation, and likelihood of game recommendation. Audio choice moderated the majority of these effects. Our results suggest that audio customization, although having a moderately weaker effect compared to visual customization, plays an important role in enhancing all outcomes compared to visual customization alone. This work takes an important first step in developing a baseline understanding of audio avatar customization.